What's up, YouTube? I uh, ran into another little dilemma where I pretty well ended up feeling like a dipshit. Um, pardon the language, but it goes back to that ancient saying of keep, you know, just keep it simple, stupid. Because what I'm about to show you, if you've been struggling with it for a while, like I have, you're going to feel dumb. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so as you can see, I'm a nerd. Got my headset and everything else ready, but anyway. I'm going to try to hold this stable and just show you guys exactly what's going on. Give you a little bit better of a sense of here. There we go. Hopefully that's not complete garbage. Anyway, XMP. As you can see, I'm running at 2933 megahertz, right? There where it says speed. That's in regard to my two 16 gigabyte RAM cards. Um, normally it'll be running around 2667, I think, was the right number. But I'm going to show you guys how to get into BIOS and actually change this. What I just did there was, you know, just go straight to Windows settings. I'm going to click on update and security. I'm going to go over to recovery, restart now. What you guys are going to boot into is just the normal recovery menu and I'll continue showing you guys where to go from here. Um, so I'm going to go to troubleshoot, advanced options. UEFI firmware settings. Restart. And don't worry, you're going to boot directly into BIOS. That's why we did it. It's booting up. I got it linked to the monitor, though, so that's why I was facing that way. Anyway. All you have to do, literally all you have to do here, is hit F9, boom, load optimized defaults. So just hit enter. And what you'll end up doing is going back over to performance options. And then all of a sudden you'll see overclocking feature is blue instead of grayed out. That means that you can actually go and enable this yes and then look at that down here XMP it's not going to be enabled at first at first it's going to be disabled but you want to enable XMP1 this is what is gonna go ahead and let you take advantage if you guys are in my position I have two 16 gigabyte uh, 3200 megahertz RAM cards they were running at 2667 and I'm losing about 30% of the, well, 20-30% of the potential megahertz that it could run at, which means 20 to 30% less data actually being transferred when I'm playing Warzone or whatever. I'm a competitive guy, so it's led to a lot of frustration. And if any of you are the same, I hope this helped. Um, if there's other crap that you guys are dealing with trying to figure out um then you know let me know in the comments and i'll see if i can screw with it and figure it out because i keep ending up in these situations but you know if you don't like the video i don't give a shit I'm trying to help people so eat me